Hello, fellow Slick Dealers. Welcome back to another Which One video. Yes, welcome back to our cooking channel. Today we're cooking up something special, Crocs. Delicious. Today we are comparing what are those to what are those? Crocs clogs and Adidas Adelette clogs. Crocs are the reigning champ of shoes that don't make sense, yet only make sense. Crocs are the shoe for every occasion and absolutely no occasion at all. Crocs make a statement. That I don't care about what you think of me. That I want to be comfortable. And I am comfortable with you hating me for it. All jokes aside, Jess and I are both big fans of Crocs. So when we saw a front page deal on Sleek Deals website for a potential challenger, we had to check them out. Enter the Adidas Adelette Clog. We snatched up two pairs of these for a total of $40, less than half the cost of one pair at retail. But are they a worthy opponent to the classic nurse shoe supreme? Can they best the sport mode shoes that are good for no sport in particular? Let's find out right after we hear from today's sponsor. We don't have a sponsor today, Jess. Oh, well, we do have our own YouTube channel that you can subscribe to for more great content. Also, if you happen to make a purchase through any of the links in the description, Slick Deals may receive a small commission. First, let's talk about build and comfort. Build is like such a weird word there. Both shoes are made of a foam rubber material molded into one piece. Well, well, the Crocs technically have the heel strap, so that's like a few pieces there, but the Croc Classic Clog features several holes around the side and toes and circular holes around the top for a very breathable fit. And the Adelit clogs, they also have holes to help your toes breathe, but none in front where your toes live. So if you wanted to hide some cash, you could do it in the Adidas clogs. Yes, or store your marbles. You can store your marbles in there. The insole area of the Crocs is ribbed for a more grippy feel, while the Adelit clogs feature a textured finish that is reminiscent of leather. We took both shoes out for a few strolls over the last week, and how do you feel about comfort, Jess? Well, I feel like the Adidas clogs are a little bit stiffer than the Crocs. The Crocs are definitely more flexible, so you know, you can point your toes and like bend it a little bit. And the ballet. Clogs, ballet, yes. Yeah. Do some ballet, do some spins and pirouettes and stuff. Yeah. But the Adelit clogs have more arch support, in my opinion, where I feel a little bit lifted there. And I like that the Crocs have like those spiky things on the inside because it's kind of, it's nice, it's grippy. I know I said earlier that I felt like the Crocs had uh, more of a arch support, but I actually changed my mind on that. These definitely do. And you can you can tell it more because they have the stiffer material. The heel strap on the Crocs could make for better overall comfort. You know, you feel like they're not gonna like slide off when you're- Oh yeah, you're... I mean, my toes are not stressed out trying to hold on to my shoe. And speaking of those heel straps, let's enter Sport mode. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't feel very sporty in these. Cause you're not in sport mode, duh. The style of this shoe is definitely multifunctional. I'd say the best kind of use case for them is general outdoor activity where you want a shoe that's super easy to put on, take off and clean, like doing yard work, going to the beach or pool, or going to get groceries from your mom's car. But the Adelit clogs, um, I feel like they're focusing a little bit more on athletes who want a nice downtime shoe. You know, you just finished a workout and you need something to slip on um, as you enter the shower in the locker room or the sauna. So all the spots. The Crocs can do that too though. Oh we're... yes, very true. But let's talk more about the looks. So I feel like in terms of color options, Adidas only had about five colors, is that correct? Yeah, the two that we had, and then there was black and white and then a pink. With Crocs, they have so many colors and designs and so many, um, what's the word? Patterns. Patterns, oh yeah. <laughs> Like you can get the you can get the tie dye or tie like dye. I've seen marijuana leaf crops. Camo. All the best for like for a, a good corporate environment. I noticed that there's a lot more variety with Crocs, um, not just with the colors and the patterns available, but also with the kinds of shoe 
Like for example, they have platform shoes, the fuzzies on the inside and it encases cold. Off-road Crocs, which are really cool. Yeah. But in terms of style for the Adelet clogs, it kind of looks like the Adidas Superstar shoes. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's, I didn't notice that at first, but when you said it earlier, it really makes sense like that. It's got the same pattern thing on mm -hmm. the front. And then the rounded toe. Yeah. Adidas has a lot more normal slides that a lot of people might gravitate towards. So it's really interesting that they decided to make a shoe like this. Especially when it's competing like very clearly and directly with the Crocs. And the Adidas clogs are missing one crucial feature that really sets the Crocs apart. Chivix! We customize our Crocs with Croc charms, which you can get for very cheap in large assorted bags on Amazon. Yeah, so these aren't Crocs brand gibbets, but they're way cheaper at about 15 cents per charm. And look at all the cool options we've got. Pokemans, emojis. I got a Scooby-Doo reference right here. Oh my what do you got? Oh, I've, Peppa. I've got Peppa Pig and an egg with hot sauce. What other shoe can you do this with? Yeah. Literally none. Yeah, it's so great and fun. I was very pleasantly surprised. We got a random bag assortment of like a hundred. There were more than I could even fit on the shoe that I wanted yeah, to put there on there. So many, so yeah. many. Like there were like smiley faces and like cute little emojis. But then of course you got I want, I'm very jealous of your spikes, actually. Hold oh. on, can we get a spike moment? Yeah, actually, so I, I made these myself. A DIY king. Yeah, and then, you know, it like reps the inner goth in me. Another pro tip for gibbets, if you have a specific one that you're looking for, you can search for like basically anything under the sun and then croc charm on Etsy. And usually sellers will sell them for about $1.50 a piece, mm -hmm. um, which is a lot more expensive than what we got here, but it's like more specific and yeah. you get the one that you want. They're still cheaper than getting the actual croc gibbets, which go for about $5 a piece. You can also get them in multi-packs that reduce the price a little bit, but that's still a lot of money for just one croc charm. Oh, yeah. So for style, I think the Crocs win. The Crocs win for style. So price, this one is really easy. For Crocs, they start at around $49.99 um, for the clogs, but you can get them cheaper for as low as $32 on Amazon brand new. Comparatively, we got the Adidas clogs for two for $40, which is $5 cheaper than the normal MSRP of one pair at $45. What do you think about the MSRP prices for both these shoes though, Jess. I am a lover of Crocs. I've been repping Crocs since 2012, so I would definitely pay the full price for Crocs. But back when I was in college, $50 for a pair of rubber shoes was just not really something I could justify. When we're talking about the Adelet clogs, we see deals on adidas.com all the time. They have seasonal sales, and this is a shoe that would qualify for one of those sales. So it's one that, you know, despite it being $45 for MSRP, you could get for a lot cheaper pretty often. Yeah, and to add to that, I rarely see the classic clogs go on sale. Like I mentioned earlier that you can buy them at other retailers like Amazon, but when you're looking on the site and if you have a specific color or pattern in mind, they rarely go on sale for the classics. So, all that to say. Adidas is the winner on price. Is it okay if I have them as mitts? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, it's like boxing. So Pete, which one? The Crocs or the Adidas? It's really hard to jump into a market that's being dominated by a certain brand and Crocs have basically created the rubber clog market we have today and has owned it for like 19 years. Adidas has created a great sporty option here, but it's so reminiscent of Crocs and with how inclined Adidas is to collaborate with other brands, I'm kind of surprised that they didn't attempt to work with Crocs on a co-branding with these shoes. Like, you know, Adidas X Crocs. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah. But still, for $20 a pair, these are a pretty great deal. And I was excited to get these and test them so definitely a worthy addition to my shoe collection. This has been Which One? I'm Jess. And I'm Pete. And if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. 
We have more than 20 videos in this series and so many others on our channel. And if you paid full price, you weren't really trying. That's my life.